that opponent, man. That opponent has a huge reach advantage. But look at John Wheatley on her sidekicks. Look at that. Just, man, she knows how to negate her opponent's reach, man. Going for the leg kicks. Look at that. Oh, sidekicks. This was early in Whaley's career, so I don't know if this is still how she throws a sidekick, but it's interesting that when she throws her sidekick, the other hand does come out. I guess it helps you maybe extend more. But so when she's throwing her sidekick, the other, you see this? The other, the other hand does come out a little bit, which is interesting. So sometimes it'll come out like this. Sometimes what's gonna happen is it'll come down. So I guess it does help you balance, right? Look at this. It does help you balance a lot. Another thing to notice is Whaley throws both types of sidekicks. She's not only throwing, you know, this one that's more to the side, she's also throwing this type. It's like a little bit more back, you're turning your back. So she's throwing both types. The really cool part is she doesn't telegraph it at all. A lot of times what happens is, you know, they might wind it up here, right? You might wind it up here, or even if you don't wind it up all the way, maybe you wind it up here, right? But somehow, if you look at how Whaley throws it, she goes directly, it's crazy. She goes directly from the ground here. She might have a little bit of a step, but goes directly. It's really impressive. That's all I can say. You know, whether she's throwing the sideways or more back, zero windup, zero windup. Very hard to see it. It's almost like, you know, when people throw a front kick, some people, instead of going all the way back and forward, what happens is they kind of lift it here and just go. Kind of like a jab, right? You don't have to start from here. You can start here. Whaley's sidekick in this fight is almost like her jab. It's like a jab. If you guys go on the dojo, I'll show you something that Coach Dean showed me. Welcome to the dojo. So something that Coach Dean showed me. So it's hard to just launch your sidekick like this, right? I mean, I guess if you remind yourself not to telegraph it, it's okay, but you want some power to it. This might not have as much power as if you wind it. So what Coach Dean taught me was, instead of thinking here, so look at this distance. Instead of thinking here, what Coach Sheen was telling me is think here. So you're starting here and then you launch it. You see that? So it's like a compromise. Don't just throw it out of nowhere and maybe miss a little bit of power. You don't need to wind it up all the way, but instead start here. So it's like a compromise. You see, I have to kick myself. See that? See that? See that? Here. See that? Here. I've always been the one to maintain that I'm not the best at sidekicks. So take everything I say with a grain of salt when it comes to sidekicks. When you're throwing sidekicks, first of all, think about if you do want to throw a sidekick or not, right? Because the thing is, when you throw a sidekick, even it happens with John Wei Lee, um, a few times she did give her back. The opponent didn't really capitalize on it. It's really awkward to talk like this, by the way. So her opponent didn't capitalize it, but I saw a few times when John Wei Lee kind of like did this, and then she kind of gave her back and there was a second where she could have gotten her back taken. Think about how do you throw a sidekick? Is there a little bit of a windup? Is there absolutely no windup? Is there maybe half a windup? You know, just things to think about. Hope you like this analysis. It's really fun to look at stuff that I've done in the past because you look back at things with a new lens and you're gonna learn more. That's the beauty of martial arts. That's the beauty of anything. So this was Jerry from Fight Commentary Breakdowns. Hope you enjoy.